Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Fasten Your Seatbelts. Today we are getting ready to get set and go. go into racing through the tracks of Grand Prix Story, Kairosoft's fifth ever international release on iOS. Grand Prix Story is actually the first ever sporting genre Kairosoft game, being the first of many future sports titles to follow. Let's pull up into the pit stop and recap if Grand Prix Story is as great as its previous titles. Grand Prix Story pits you into the shoes of a racing car business, managing all aspects of the sport on and off the main track. Grand Prix Story was the fifth ever international iOS release, debuting in August 24th, 2011. But the Android release of this game set a new standard for Kairosoft releases, being ported before the iOS release in June 8th, 2011, as the third ever Android app, being prioritized over other Android releases. With this being the third ever Kairosoft Android release, this title actually overtook Mega Mall Story and Pocket Academy, two fantastic games we've previously seen on this channel. Going forward with this series, I'm going to continue reviewing the games in the order that they were initially released on iOS, as this was the first ever platform that the international ports landed on, before Android started to have different prioritized ports, like Grand Prix Story here. Kairosoft again seemed to believe that Grand Prix Story would be highly successful in order to prioritize the Android port over Mega Mall Story and Pocket Academy. Let's drive by the main features of this game. Grand Prix Story originates with you managing an extremely small track team, and allows you to jump right into to the objective of the game from the second that it starts, which is racing on tracks competing to win Grand Prix tourneys and coming first. You initially have one track driver and one staff crew aiming to place first in all of the local tournaments. After you perform your first debut race, you are able to customize and upgrade your vehicle to your liking starting low with E to your equipment, which can be upgraded over time. You can also upgrade your staff, including your driver and the vehicle itself, providing a large amount of customization and combinations available. This game in particular provides a vast amount of customization of the characters and their equipment, rather than the primary focus being on the facilities and environments, similar to the previous four titles we've looked at. When you are ready to embark on your first race, you can select it in the menu and the countdown will begin. You will even get your very own sign person to hold up a reminder of the weeks remaining until the race. They're an essential part of the team. I find it hilarious that they just spontaneously appear pop as soon as the race is about to begin and just leave, nowhere to be seen ever again when the race is about to start. I hope in the recent economic times this person has been treated right and they always are able to fulfill their dream of holding up a sign for two weeks straight. Let's jump straight into our first race here and try to get our first ever Grand Prix W. Looks like we have the fantastic Polly Pan as our driver who we are going to need to turn into an absolute drifting madhouse to conquer these other noobs. I love to see the attention to detail within the races themselves too. If you look into the crowd, you'll notice some familiar faces, and even while you're racing, you might encounter some special characters. Kyrobot. Kyrobot is always watching, always there. Lovely to see Chimpanzee out on this fine day too. I'm sure he is enjoying some bananas while watching the races zoom by. We are approaching the final corner. Let's see how Polly did in her first ever race then. Oh boy, we have a lot of training to do. In order to increase your chances of taking out the trophy, you'll need to spend some time managing your vehicles, upgrading parts, and training your staff. Speaking of racing, Polly, that last performance was abysmal. We are going to need to get you whipped into shape so that you could run over a jelly bean with your car tires, even while blindfolded. We need extra precision in this racing business. Let's get started with your training. Cue the training montage. First up, we have going for a jog. Okay, it seems a bit strange to prepare for driving, but exercise is always good to clear the mind. Why not? Next up we have a joyride, very fitting. This will get you up to speed on your drifting expertise. Next we're jumping straight into read, reading a book. Okay, must be a driver's manual or how to win a Grand Prix for dummies, I hope. You've done well, Polly Pan. You're shaping up into a fine athlete. Next we have the most important training of all, dance. Dance, Polly, dance like no one's watching. The fate of our entire business depends on your sick, gritty skills. Lastly, we'll wrap it up with some odd jobs. I'm sure you'll get a nice hat as a reward for completing that. Just don't throw it at anyone that you care about. You can also scrap older vehicles to pave the way for newer models. And well, wow, that sure is one way to get rid of a car. Now that we are all ramped up with better vehicle equipment and a more determined and danced up poly, let's hit that track again. I also really like that each of the maps have their own unique icon. Just another example of a small car soft polish that goes a long way in this game. I'm afraid I'm not feeling good today. Polly, you're literally on fire. What do you mean? Channel those flames into changing those gears faster. We have bills to pay. This is looking like a promising pre-game trial and it's close. And Polly takes out the gold. Great job. You have brought honor to Bow's Hot Wheels. 
Shortly after completing your first race, you'll be able to race in more difficult cups and even apply for sponsorships to help raise awareness and financial support for your race team. Later tracks have more road conditions such as icy terrain and sand that will require you to gather specific equipment to stay on top of the races. In my opinion, the pacing of this title is the best out of the early Kairosoft games. You are able to get started with racing right off the get-go and there isn't an overwhelming amount of things to manage at the start of the game, unlike some previous titles. The races in this title are a great gameplay mechanic and are super fun to watch. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing your champion team go for the gold. Sometimes the races can be extremely close too. Check out Polly going in ham in this race and inching out the win by one millisecond. Great job, Polly. You've earned a contract renewal and a permanent position at Bowles Hot Wheels. After you've cleared out the first few races, it's time for the real deal. It's Grand Prix time, baby. Instead of racing on just one track, you'll now compete over multiple courses in one go. This will place a lot of damage on your car's durability and will require you to develop upgrades for your vehicles. Your team will also scramble to repair the vehicle before the next race, hoping to get it repaired in time. The tracks are a combination of both tracks you've already raced on and brand new ones, so be prepared for the worst. Kairosoft quirks are found all within this game and it's great to see that the iconic Aura feature is back in this title. Ever since Auras were removed in Mega Mall Story, the times have been tough for Kairobot, but now we are finally on fire. The Auras in this game can be used for a variety of boosts such as upgrading your vehicle's efficiency, nailing those killer turns on the track, and installing difficult vehicle parts with the greatest success rate. I also like that during a race you have the option to choose if you do want to use the Aura during the race, or saving it for later back at the business hub. The main Kairosoft quirk in this game is honestly the tracks themselves. There are a huge variety of maps and it's super fun seeing your team that you have worked hard to train up finally breezing through all those difficult maps. The attention to detail in the course variations and the aforementioned special characters roaming around the course makes them feel special and charming. Watch out, Kairobot is always watching. The sound design and music of this title is good. The kart racing atmosphere and theme provides a lot of opportunity to use a lot of iconic racing sounds. And overall, the music is solid, but nothing stands out as too memorable. Wow, what a race. We have driven through an entire Grand Prix alone just playing through this game. I think it is about time that we leave our review. Grand Prix Story. Grand Prix Story is the first sports-themed Kairosoft title that was internationally released, providing a brand new gameplay experience for the Kairosoft library. Rather than upgrading your equipment and the facility surroundings, you are instead tasked with leveling up your drivers and staff to make them the most competent Grand Prix team around. The racing aspect of this game is super refreshing and a great new mechanic introduced to Kairosoft games. It's super fun to gradually upgrade your car and staff and see the hard work pay off on the track when they finally nail the perfect drifts to land first in the tournaments. Rather than needing to manage a large amount of staff and objectives at the same time as seen in previous Kairosoft titles, this game has you focus on one singular objective of preparing and performing better in the races that you enter in. Grand Prix Story is a refreshing entry in the Kairosoft series, offering new gameplay and extended vehicle and staff customization that paves the way for countless future Kairosoft sports titles. I rate this game 8 Grand Prix out of 10. Grand Prix Story is one exhilarating game. Kairosoft really nailed it out of the park with showing how unique their game formula can be when applied to a new genre and playstyle. The sporting series of Kairosoft games are some of the most beloved titles in their entire gamography. Similar to the other original games we have showcased so far on this channel, Grand Prix Story would later get a sequel in 2017, being one of the first ever international releases to get a sequel. Just goes to show how unique Kairosoft game design is, and that it can be applied to a plethora of game ideas and genres. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash the Kyra subscribe button, as there are plenty more game reviews on their way. Do you think Grand Prix Story's sports oriented direction made for a better title than previous simulation games? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks again for watching the video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.